Good day everyone, Garage King here, and today I'm going to do a review on the Tesla wall connector that I bought. And you know what? I'm even going to install it and I'll tell you, you know, why I bought the wall connector. First of all, we can see the corded mobile connector is $400 and it doesn't help, it is out of stock. Now the wall connector is $495, so it's not a lot more and it does charge faster. But what's really interesting is Tesla will no longer include mobile connectors with every car and they're gonna drop the price to 200, so we'll see if that happens. Elon did confirm, so I believe it, but what's interesting is he said the usage statistics were really low, so it just seems wasteful. Like, it just seems wasteful. Now, the other thing is, if you're thinking of just not buying any at all, and you're thinking of buying a cord, it charges super slow. It's like three miles of range per hour. Here we have a chart of the, uh, the wall connector, and as you can see, you do get quite a bit more mileage with it, depending on which breaker you use. So let's open up the box and see what we have inside. So first of all, this box reminds me of something you'd buy Apple products in. It just seems really well made. So I can tell Tesla spent some money here and it actually comes with quite a bit of stuff in the box. There's a little template and there's a nice easy to use manual. Uh, if you're drilling into brick, like how we're gonna be drilling into, you need definitely to have a lot of tools on hand. Now, obviously you can see here, I bought the one with the long cord. It's just, it's gonna work best for me in my driveway. Uh, they had this cool little plastic thing here. So once you pull it apart, you can see how the back plate comes apart from the front plate and there's some weather uh, sealed screws in the back and it is very well made. So if we look at the manual and sort of scroll through the manual, we're gonna take a look and we can see the current uh, that, that it actually uses is 12 to 48 amps. So that's the current that we're gonna be using. So let's keep scrolling through the manual. And Tesla tells us not to install a GFCI circuit breaker because a wall connector incorporates automatic load management. So that's kind of nice. So, you know, just a regular circuit breaker will do. Now, in our case, we are going to use a 60 amp circuit breaker, which means uh, the wall connector will be operating at its max. So we can use six gauge wire because six gauge wire can carry 55 amps and we're actually only using 48 amps with a 60 amp circuit breaker. So we're okay doing that. Now, the other thing you wanna make sure is your location. I know this sounds funny and it sounds basic, but make sure you install it in a location that actually reaches your car. The last thing you wanna do is install it where it's not gonna reach your car. <gasps> and the other thing you wanna do is make sure your Wi-Fi signal is good because it does need Wi-Fi. So an easy test for that is just go outside on your phone and make sure that you have Wi-Fi. Now, the wall connector isn't pre-drilled. So once you decide if your wire is gonna come from the back, you'll have to actually drill out these little slots so you can get the wire in. And here you can see me, I'm drilling out a slot and this is where the wire will be coming in through the back, as you will see. So let's get to my garage, right where the battery is on the wall. That's where I want to mount the wall connector. Uh, but we have to look on the other side to see roughly where it's gonna be. So if I zoom in here, you can see two little marks here. So I am going to drill through the brick. Now, anyone that's drilled through brick, you need a big bit and you need a professional drill. So this is my drill and then I rented a bit and this should hopefully take us through the wall okay. Now I sped up the video because nobody has time to watch me drill through the wall all day or spend an hour just watching this drill bit go. So I did speed it up quite a bit and I'm gonna speed it up even more just because I can tell even right now it's just not taking, uh, or sorry, it's taking too long. So let's speed it up. There you go, you can see I'm punching through the wall and there is our hole. Now I'm gonna be careful punching through the wall and I got a helper to actually look at the drywall and tell me once the bit was starting to come through because I didn't wanna tear up all the drywall. So once you see that little hole there, take your bit on the other side and then make a little drill mark there. So then this way, you know the hole's all lined up. Okay, so now for the fun stuff. Let's turn our hydro off. So make sure that all of your hydro is off. Now what I'm doing is I'm taking off uh, this top part of the panel box here just to show you uh, my electrical panel box. This is a sub panel so you can see uh, there's the feed wires and there's the neutral. It goes to the neutral bar and it's actually grounded. And this is a sub panel and you will find if you're hooking it up to the main panel, your main panel may be a little bit different but you should still ground it properly. When in doubt, call an electrician. Please call an electrician. Don't wanna see anybody get hurt. Okay, time to move on. So now you can see me gluing the plastic. So it is a special type of glue. So when you go to your hardware store, make sure when you get your PVC pipe, you use a special type of glue. Now obviously if you're going inside the walls, you don't have to put it in the pipe, but I'm going outside the drywall. Now here's uh, an interesting clip. I tried to cut the wire. Now this is six gauge. Tried to cut it with my Craftsman uh, wire cutters. And you know what, it just wouldn't do it. I just, I, I couldn't do it. So I tried with the snap on there and you can see, there we go. 
it's uh, it's gonna go through. And now you know what? I'll try it again with the snap on. And look at this. So. I guess, I know they're super expensive tools, but you know what, you get what you pay for and they did actually work. So now I'm just cutting it here. And then what you can see is I'm feeding the wire through. I'm gonna pan to the side here in a second. And there you go, you can see it is through all the way. Uh, this is a right angle connector. So I'm gonna use this to go through the wall. So I'm just gonna feed the wire just like this. And as you can see, uh, once it gets close to being fed through, it's not the easiest thing because what happens is the bend is actually quite tight here. And you can see it's tough to get through, but you know what, if you play with it enough, it's gonna go through, so don't worry about it. And then what you can do is just drill the holes on your wall uh, to mount. Here you can see I'm just doing a little bit of insulation here. I, I wanna install it and you're gonna see there's a bit of a problem later, but we'll go over it later. So anyway, now you can see there's me mounting the box because I'm so excited to, to get it uh, hooked up. And there you can see it's fully uh, mounted. Um, I use the neutral as a ground because it's a much thicker wire, but I taped it as a ground. So any for any electrician in the future would know that that's a ground, not a neutral. And then in the bottom of the box, if you saw very quickly, you can see there, uh, I should be securing these wires uh, some way. Now the ground I just cut off there, it's a dead ground. It's, it's not being used at all, so it's fine like that. But what I'm gonna have to do later is I'm just gonna have to extend that tube a little bit and all I'm gonna be able to do or all I can do to fix that is this really simple fix. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull it back from the inside of the garage. I'm just gonna cut the plastic tube and then just put a little bit of an extender on it and it'll push it through the Tesla box which will allow me to put a nut on it. So really not a big deal, uh, I'm very aware of that. You can see here the top bolts are pretty easy to get to but the bottom bolts were another story because I have this silly little ledge here uh, luckily, I was able to get a tiny little tool in here. Um, there's just no other way I would have been able to get it in. So I just, uh, anyway, luckily I had that tool, but my house is probably not like yours. It's just the way it's made. So here's a finished look on how it looks. So you can see there it runs all into the panel box. There's the wires coming in, not securing it uh, to the panel box. I have the three wires. So I have the two, uh, the red and the black, and then the white one I taped. It is a ground. So the white one goes to the ground and not the neutral bar. You can see there it goes to the ground and then the other two just go uh, you know, to the breaker. So if we turn the breaker on, we're gonna run here and we can see there are our lights. So that's really good. In our quick start manual, we can take a picture of the little symbol there, I guess, and it will take us to, uh, it'll take us to the internet and there we will be able to uh, set everything up. So you can see there's my line voltage. So it's working, it's got voltage there. So that is awesome. And then uh, we can actually even go to the controls here and you can see here all vehicles only Tesla or authorized Tesla only. So you can set it up. Uh, I'm in Canada, I have a 60 amp breaker. So I set it up with a 60 amp there. Uh, you can set it up to whatever you want. And basically that's it. I hope to see you next week. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Uh, any questions like that, just let me know.